game here. Day five of the Super League. W League, 6,000 bucks on the line, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 9,000. 6,000 for the winner. Uh, 3,000 for the winner. But 9,000 uh, 9, in total. So far, TH with 1-1. One, one. Not the greatest results he had. Uh, winning against WFZ. Who did he lose to? Ah, Lolai. Exactly. And 1-2-0's first game here. China versus China. Double world champ versus double world champ. It doesn't get much better than this. A player's forces are under Is... I don't have in-game capture. There we go. That looks better. So I just have to swap the races and then we're good to go. First best of three of the day starts right here on Amazonia, but it's uh, not loud enough. Here. This is better, right? That should be better. Music. Music on now. Yeah. All right. So Mountain King first on AZ. That is so weird. TH comes in, uh, uh, I mean, 1 to 0 comes in with a coil, but doesn't get it. Might be surprised by the Mountain King as he catches the Stormbolt and is surrounded instantly. Can he fight out? He's trying to with a coil with skeletons, but is forced into a town portal after the initial kill. What a start for TH000. We saw how 1 to 0 destroyed Infi in this very matchup on those very maps in less than three minutes. This is not going to happen here today, as his opponent seems to be a lot stronger than Infi was on the day of Masters Colosseum in the oh, Grand Final. But, how possible is this with a Mountain King expansion? Seems doable, as he's trying to go for it. Mountain King is already pretty low, uh, but the DK harass is quite far away. He has to run all the way over. There is no Stormbolt anymore. The big one is still up. There's one kill guaranteed, one more skeleton is coming in, but he's about to expire. Here's the coil, it's the second last one. Of course, he can't call the rock golem, so this should go to TH, and that's instant level 3 plus of greater healing. Lots of skeletons here, though, and without water elemental, it's quite hard to defend. Next one falls, that's the third one, but it's still okay. He's at five peasants, a uh, lot of duration here left on those skeletons, as he sends them back, doesn't want to feed the Mountain King into a higher level. And we have a Stormbolt clap combo, no bash for this MK, as it is quite standard in 1.29 now. Man, this is really, really rare and a special strategy by TH for sure. Tier 2 tech is on the way, halfway done. So we're waiting for the destroyer push to come. And I'm opening up the chat and everything else. So, yeah. We're super close to 800 subs here, I think 10 more. Seven more, and then we have uh, the 800th sub. It's going for the footman to keep the numbers low to oh, staff back. Nice save. Oh, but the skeletons, can they reach? Yes, they can. Before the other ones in the south uh, drop to time, turn into dust. <coughs> so this works tremendously well <coughs> for the best Chinese human or for the best human in the world, as he got level 3, got the expo up, got the tower up, didn't lose too many peasants. Um, of course you want to kill the footman to keep the numbers low, so it's not that easy to storm the base, but this is an opening, right? It should be very easy. Did he fuck it up, or is he closing it later? That's gonna be the interesting question. Harass continues. It's zero experience, oh, okay, a little experience. Level 2. Uh, from this, and he crept this with ghouls, but the Ring of Protection goes to the Mountain King, who's quite tanky now, with additional armor and the two, uh, like the big potion. But that wasn't the biggest creep spot here that he took. Stormbolt again. He has two more. That's a level two one, right? Lich is coming. And without any footman, he's causing the DK back. Or he's forcing the DK back. Is he using the last two Stormbolts as well? Doesn't seem like it. Pulls the creeps, fiends are out. Nice and easy creeping here in the base, but now the footman army is coming in. Players' forces are under attack. And what can they do? He's a little late for the slaughterhouse. And 1 to 0 is in his base with a fiend. But there's no pressure anymore on this expo. It should mean that he can tech fairly soon. He invested into a shredder. So, better lumber. But yeah, here's the tech. Very early. 6 minutes 20 in. Shop is coming up as well. 
It's a little harder to keep the footman alive now against Nova and Coil, but with his Storm Bolt, he really has a good solution against the DK. There's still no healing, there's still no statue, it's coming in now. But the mana management is very wise, I feel. So he's poking at the DK quite a bit. But he's ne never spending all his mana. He, he constantly has like one and a half storm bolts left or one clap uh, bolt combo. A town is and black is coming as well. This is looking very good so far. But can he hold against the destroyer push? That's the biggest question. With only four footmen remaining, are under I'm not so sure. But it's not double slaughterhouse, so it won't be the big destroyer push that we know from Europe, for example. Stormbolt kill again, but he's not he's not close to level four, and that's kind of key to one to zero here or four one to zero. That he keeps this mountain king low, trying to force him away. Another acolyte dies at the second one. He had one spare, so he has to replenish only one. I. Yes, yes, and he does that immediately. Orp, he doesn't have the gold. Ooh, that's big. The timing is pretty delayed now. No level three. Orp is late. With that being said, the destroyer upgrade is late as well. And we have reinforced defenses, uh, like masonry upgrade. We have two towers, three towers in the base. It's every everything is a little late, but it's still fine. Still a good timing for the destroyer push to come. He's going into running into the red spot. Did he? Oh no! There was a zeppelin attack. Oh, he he wasn't the zeppelin, but got killed. How did that work? Why? I didn't see it, I'm sorry. But this is a big hit. Like how? Players forces are under attack. How? Chat, do you know? It's the can? Can protects air. I'm confused. Angry golems there, yeah, maybe. Haven't seen that before. But now, we have an orb, we have a destroyer. A town is under siege. But what can you do? Nice Sim City. Mountain King, is he healthy again? Yes he is. Storms the base once more. Forces are under and the meat wagon is coming, so no heavy air. And I think that's the right decision. With five towers here, and five towers here, and the tier three tick to come. I think meat wagons are the good, best solution, but now he can snipe it, gets the first ghoul as well. And he forces one to zero back. This is so smart. This is such a great time. He has one destroyer left, but without devouring the water elementals, he's left without mana. And surrounded the meat wagon. This is all so late for one to zero. Not looking good in his first match here! Nice save. No anti-air. Drop of the Magi. Sweet for the Lich. Constant damage from this Lightning Shield. Alright. Level 3 for the DK though. But how does he want to deal with this? There's still attacks and he's getting rid of one Acolyte after another. This economy is so crippled. He's losing every single footman, but does it matter? I don't think so. He has the double base up, he's on the way to tier 3, almost finishing, and then it's Griffin Aviary time. Paladin second, of course, getting rid of the shop, okay, but this meat wagon is so hurt that he had, has to get an acolyte, while three acolytes are missing in the main. 1 to 0 is kind of preparing for tanks, I feel, with the meat wagon in the base. But... Right. Can he somehow kick this expo? The Lich is not even attacking as he's here at the main. Destroyer sees the second hero soon. Triple aviary. We're going Griffins first. Not a single sign of a Dragonhawk as he sees no need for that.
Oh, well, once the Griffins are out... I don't know if there's web. There must be web by now. But he has low resources the entire game. This compares. 6,300, 5,500. So 800 gold difference. Now the Lich is attacking with the Nova and some last hits, reducing uh, the repair speed, of course. Two levels of masonry. Can't break the towers anymore. It's not possible. Next Nova. Next kills. Only one repair. Second wagon is here. And 1 to 0 is just creeping a little as he has no army at the moment. Stormhammer upgrades. Oh, do we have web? He moved the destroyer in for more vision. But he was out of range anyway. I feel the undead is breaking this. Nova again. Last hits again. And two wagons are enough. But this is dead supply afterwards. As they can't attack anything. Oh, Stormbull or two an illusion. He should have known better. And there's no brilliance aura here. He can't spam those spells non-stop. Expo is gone. He can set it up again, but this Expo is actually broken. A is it a Dark Ranger 3? He doesn't have the su uh, free supply for this. OTH. Is this game slipping out of hand for you? He's staying at 47 now that he's at one base. Shop has been rebought. This is four guaranteed kills for sure. Next destroyer. Second one. Reveal being used as well. Close to level 4 MK, which is super nice against the fiends as he's going for clap 2 then. Blood Mage third. The biggest nuke, but what can we do? Paladin immediately dying. There's no chance of rescuing him here. Without oh, he had a staff. Seems like it's not worth it. No healing currently. And no repair anymore. Once this peasant dies. Okay, but now the pressure is off. Level 4. But he's switching into destroyers already because the griffins can't attack the destroyers. Getting to 52 supply. This must be the Dark Ranger 3rd, right? In a bit. Players forces are under attack. Next base attack is inbound. Attack upgrade and Temple of the Dam. I love this transition. Anti-magic shell against this nuke. We have Banish Bolt Holy Light. Could be an insta-kill on certain heroes. So anti-magic shell prevents that damage. That's why he's going for it. More kills. And oh, Cloud now against the towers. I like that. Clap and follow up attacks. Once again, using a lot of mana, getting rid of a lot of acolytes. But he can't stay in this fight. He has to get out. Like in this base, there's and without mana, there's no chance of fighting. But the damage is done. Oh Ooh, so close. This hurts. Two acolytes only. Wagon again. <laughs> this worker constantly repairing. I mean, it's draining resources. I understand that he keeps them alive. How want to, uh, how TH is always finding these openings? This game was got almost out of hand when this expansion was killed, but now it's open again. One base versus one base. Four to two heroes. Oh, that's a big upgrade. Banish and divine shield. And Siphon Mana. Nice back and forth between the two. But he plays a dual hero. I feel like, attack. okay, of course, a Dark Ranger is squishy. Oh, he cancelled the temple as well. He cancelled the temple as well. No anti-magic shell. Fiends are gonna insta-die. Is the high level undead nuke still enough? We have a big invul, we have a normal invul, and of course, free damage from destroyers, investing in Nova to slow it down. But do we still have no weapon, or was he just not in range? Nice micro here over the trees. 
Thank you, Mr. Who Dad, for the host, by the way. He has lumber, he has gold. He's not trying to go for the second attempt to build the temple. Is it a little late already? A player's oh. forces are under attack. Oh, creep check coming in. There is no step is on cooldown. Gets the flute though. Oh sweet. Plus six on the griffins. And we do have web, but we also have a TP. One griffin down, that's okay. For this item, certainly okay. And this very, very unusual Mountain King first play on AZ pays off. So. There's no invults here. There's no heal potions here. A player's forces are under Dreadlord. Okay. Town is under He's a little tankier than the Dark Ranger. Sleep, of course, not as good as it is a single target disable. Not a, a area of effect disable. But, can prevent holy lights. And carrion swarm is also a nice thing. Against air, against workers. Adds to the new. Another go. Still only one tower and cloud. Once again a town portal. Very aggressive. Does he have another an, uh, one of his own? Yes, he does. Here comes Web. Oh, wow. What a save TP. And again killing three acolytes. About 3,000 gold remaining here. 1,500 gold advantage. For TH. And the bit that he got from the expansion. It's kind of like a mini expansion, right? It, since he's harassing this so much. And the constant gold that gets into acolytes the cripples him. People stop the mana drain. Yep, that's also a good point. Prevents holy light, stops the mana drain. Destroyer's getting attacked by the hawks now. Of course, coiled. Still against the red spot. He wants this level and the, the big item, but he doesn't get it. Meat wagon falls as well, but that's not the biggest loss. 62 supply for TH, 53 for 120. Best undead and best human in the world. Nice clap. Oh, so much damage with his AoE. The Dreadlord gets a coil last second, but more clap coming in. Sleep against him now, but we need another coil on the lid, otherwise he dies. There we go. But for how long can he do this? He's just stopping the damage, but I don't think he can fight against this uh, mass air from TH, the triple aviary. And now there's Siphon Mana again. Sleep again, okay. But there's more Storm Bolts and more Clap where this came from. Five Destroyers now. Getting rid of more Griffins. Nice Nova! Dreadlord falls, but that's okay, I guess. As the Blood Mage is about to fall as well. Will he be focused? Will he be Holy Light? Will he be Staff? Staff is on him, right? Yeah, and there he dies with the Coil. So, third hero for third hero. Which is, of course, a lot harder. Or a lot better. 4 1 to 0. And now he can't attack this anymore. Unholy Aura makes him catch up a little. Oh, no mana for Divine Shield, but also no Coil, no Nova. A player's forces are under attack. What a game to start this day. Level 5 DK and this tower is level 5 as well for the Lich. The nuke is insane now. And there's still no involved, this time not even a town portal. TH lost so much in this battle. Dreadlord is back. Still no anti-magic shell. Seems like he doesn't need it. He has so much control on the map with these destroyers. A player's forces are under attack. And now it's red spot time, but with only the heroes. He might get caught. The statues should be falling. Oh, the Lich. There is an invul on him. Can't surround really. Oh, that's so much damage. Mountain King is blocking. Nice sleep as well. And now he wants the fight with the destroyers coming in from the left. Nice Nova hitting everything again. Of course, he takes out uh, the Dragonhawk early, I guess. Oh, no. Ah, now he does. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. This dreadlord again, not even needing the blood mage. So sick, so fast. And with all that damage, he can't use the coils offensively. Because he constantly has to heal the lich, which is of course way more important. Than saving the dreadlord. What a sick game. And that's only map one. Stays at 40 supply with 800 gold TH. Are the griffins still the best thing? The mountain king is about to hit level 5. And then we have insane nuke on both sides. It's very hard to creep for TH now because he has basically no physical damage. And they are magic immune. Oh, he's baiting the stormbolt with an illusion. Double invul on the ledge. Should give one to the dr Ah, yes! Four invuls! Perfect play against this nuke. And more mana here on the ledge. Passes one. Sleep. Very squishy blood mage. Level three coil Nova. Will he use it? Ah, oh, nice siphon mana stormbolt combo. That's so sweet. But here is the focus with the orb of corruption. Bl Dreadlord comes in to block. There is a holy light. For how much longer? With an Archmage, I guess, this game... Oh! There is... Is there time? No, there's not! Perfect nuke! He gets the Blood Mage in return again, but the first hero is down. Does he have the gold for the rebuy? I think so. Oh, that was so big. That is so expensive. But he has 800 gold. There he is. Back again. 650 gold invested. And the main gold mine for TH is gone. And the main gold mine for 120 as well. Long distance mining to get at least, at least a little bit. That was the last gold for 120 then. Players this revive. Maybe back. one invul. What a perfect Stormbolt that was. Not a split second later and he has the invul. But he was stunned. Now the granite golem falls. Crystal. He has constant vision with his destroyers. <coughs> 2 war upgrade versus 0-1. TH must win this fight with a nuke. Attack. And it's so hard. Against all these invults and constant regen. That's really a problem now for TH. The lack of the Brilliance Aura. He constantly has to buy clarities, but he only has 100 gold. So much wasted XP. Oh, the, blood, uh, the Mountain King. No staff, no TP, but no surround. Nova again into the air to get some pickups. Every unit that falls now can't really be reproduced because he has no gold. Trying to go for the DK again, but that doesn't work this time. Nova. Oh, this level 3 Nova. This level 3 Nova is a dream for every undead. And a pain for the humans in the world. He picks up one unit after another. Web comes in again. TH is losing like, what, 15 supply here? He has to play the hero game. He's checking for an expansion, but 1 to 0 doesn't have the gold. Oh, nice. He drops the rope and the circle before using Dark Ritual. Oh, we don't have Carrion Swarm. It's the aura. Only for the heroes, or for two heroes. Fiends don't do anything anymore now as they get insta snipe. But the Blood Mage, will he fall for the third time? Coil Nova hits him! And of course, Holy Light is on cooldown. GG! What a game! And what a start! To Super League. TH defeated once more. After he was defeated by Lawliot earlier in this league. And 1-0 playing his first map and winning it. Man, what a crazy game. It went back and forth and back and forth. At the end, only the heroes prevailed. But yeah. Great echo harass by TH. But great fights by 1-0. Oh my god. That was so strong. How he broke that expansion after being harassed over and over. I can't believe it, man. And that is why you should never give up. There was 
the point in the game where I thought, okay, you can leave now. Because if it's tier 3, tier 8, then you lose, but apparently not. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What an opening. By the way, to everyone who uh, got a sub gifted here by Herr Wusel or all the other guys who did this, uh, you can renew your sub for only one dollar. And we're seven subs away from 800 subs, which is crazy. Like one month ago, we weren't even close to 600, really. This game opened with a storm bolt into DK surround. He had to use his town portal after like 2 minutes 20. He still did it. He's a madman. Any chance to check the last replay? Nope. The game is already up. It's Twisted Meadows. And this is, of course, a way better map for TH now. Yeah, the Zeppelin thing was a game changer, exactly. Without that, without the Hurt Mountain King and without the almost killed footman, I think TH can continue his harass even further, or even more intensively. And maybe then 120 doesn't come back. I've never seen the creeps attack the Zeppelin there. Kind of weird. Thank you, Derek W93, for the sub. We're getting closer to 800. 794. Map number 2! 120 versus TH. On Twisted. It's still 1.29, so not the shorter militia duration. So I would I would be very surprised if he's not going for the laboratory. Builds his altar of kings right next to it, so he can creep this easier. Love what you guys do. Keep it up. Thank you, Derek. And I hope you enjoy your sub here. No ads, chat badge, emotes, and replay pads. Yeah, this week's gonna be crazy. Six days of casting again. Tomorrow, uh, Remo will stream. Maybe I take a day off. I don't know yet. Um, because that would be my eighth stream in seven days. Maybe a little rest would be nice. Before we go into... WGL qualifiers and if you check reddit today there's a big rumor that Nettys is going to patch to 1.30 this Thursday so then we finally have the latest patch for the best players in the world <laughs> so Early DK, Fiend opening, he's close position, but not really. Uh, I mean, he starts next to him, but the laboratory is on the other side of the map, so it takes some time to walk over. This time it's an Archmage. He's changing things up. <laughs> I hear this more and more that people call me Legend, this is really weird. I don't feel like it, but thanks, that is uh, very charming. So, how many peasants will he lose? Move the one away, Tomb of Strength and Rune Braces. Oh, nice. Against Undead, the best defensive item you can find. And level 2. Not the big jump. He has the first skeleton already. No tower in the base. One peasant is hurt, two, three are hurt. How many corpses can he create and with how many skeletons can he harass? This? Tower is coming. Of course you can send the skeletons in. Nice block. But will he kill the footman? Here's the next corpse. For more skeletons. There we go. Investing militia time here. So that delays the tech already. And buys time for the tower. Same 
G2 tech and Fiend. This is once again this kind of greedy undead tech without any units. I like that he's positioning the Acolyte here. Because he really shouldn't expand here. That's way too close to the undead. And with the Acolyte seeing this, we can harass this better. More corpses, more skeletons. But this was one of the best laboratory creeps I've seen in a while. Did one unit die? Yeah, one unit died. I think one worker. Yeah, he called it. Uh, he, he coiled it here. But that's it. And for a level 2 and a 3rd, and rune bracers, that's cost to take. Are under the Bilariti of Warcraft 3. Oh boy, that's an insult, man. <laughs> Someone called me Frank Bushman of Warcraft. That was nice. And I think it fits better. More emotions. So, boots now to be able to run away. This arrest didn't really accomplish anything. But what it did was keeping TH at tier 1 Players forces are under and preventing the expansion. So, Skeleton sees this now. DK is around the corner. And more hits on the Archmage. Fiend is coming in as well, as the Militia train arrives. Who? This is going to be hard to creep. This is the second big chance for 1-0 to, to deal some damage. First one didn't really work too well. How many creeps can he steal? He's at 25 experience at the moment. There we go. First warrior goes to the undead. Acolyte dies here though. Trapper. Goes to TH, who's closing in on level 3. Watt Elemental could be an easy kill as well as this footman here. And he might be getting both, but he wants this Ogre Mage Eye. Everyone wants this Ogre Mage Eye, doesn't want to be surrounded of course. Archmage super low, very scary situation! Gets the level 3 TH with nice timing. Loses quite a bit on top of it, but second boots of speed here. Nice for a Mountain King or just for selling it. And T 1 to 0 is so low, trying to coin it again. Can he stay 15 seconds longer? Four more damage. What elemental is hacking away now? Or slaying away now? Ay, 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 ay. Ten, so, ten mana. Five mana for the next coil. Or can he reach? He must reach. No! Fireball's coming in. Town portal. So well done by TH. He knew that he was above 70 HP. So he can't be coiled to death. And then he pressured the DK again. Phenomenal defense. Absolutely flawless. Like, of course he lost, like, one or two units, but this could have been way, 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 way worse. So, Slaughterhouse, Crypt, no tier 3 tech yet. And the DKs. The tech, no. Of course the tech didn't start. The expansion is late. But safe, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, he had the he had the rune braces as well. I kind of forgot. So seventy HP is, of course, not even enough. But... Nova's in, so footman life got quite hard. No, oh boy, has to use a potion. Six rods of necromancy, no coil. This fiend dies to the fireballs. TH is in beast mode right now. He gets so much with so little. Got a fiend, got a TP, got a potion. And constant damage against the DK. We do have a statue now, but still no tier 3. Could be a big wagon push, but or a bigger-ish wagon push. Ah, here's the tier 3 now. Yeah, should, should be safe, I guess. Expo is up and running, towers are coming as well. Tier 2 has started... Everything aligned, everything in order. And he didn't even lose too many footmen or workers. He's keeping the undead far away from his expo and not even granting him level 2. Wow. Still no level 2. No unholy aura is big. No regen on the HP. And no movement speed, especially the movement speed. A force it hurts a lot. Attack. Making it so hard to micro. And of course everything takes longer.
how can he get back? This gets him close to level 4, if he has the time. For the level 2 brilliance aura, but there is still some kind of a timing, as the towers aren't up. DK is in the base, does not have a staff, so he can't coil anything right now. Scout tower's down. This is okay. With the healing in the back, it's nice, but as I said, closing in on 4. Here, 360%. So, I thought he forgot about the ziggurat, but of course not. So, free reign for Fiends at Lich now. To work against the... Uh oh Against the workers, but here comes the cavalry. Can he get another Fiend with a surround? DK is there now as well. He needs one kill are under while the DK is nearby. For level 2, that is. And he got it, finally. But that shows you the amazing place of TH in this early game. But we are 9 minutes 30 in and only now the Unholy Aura arrives. Tier 2 is done as well, I can only assume it's a Mountain King. He has the time. He doesn't have the lumber at the moment. But we'll have it in a sec. But the lumber is an issue. He has a shredder now. But low lumber means less towers. If he could snipe the shredder. It could bring him back into the game. Next with more towers. Even a ghoul coming in for more harass. If one player finds an opening against TH at that state of the game, it's 1 2 0. Destroy upgrade, almost Players done. Towers attack. not yet up. And, and it will take some time. And the wagon is coming afterwards. It's a long, 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 long distance though. Oh no, what's he doing? DK almost surrounded, coiling his way out. No! He can't, right? Can he? Oh yeah, he's fighting his way. That was close. Level 2 for the Lich. This is only a fiend to rest. He's losing one fiend to the towers. Or to the militia, whatever it was. Can't go for destroyers now. Will he move more? Under Panda second. What? As long as there's no mass destroyers, okay. But on level 1, not that useful. Disease Cloud can this one. Missed that last time. Panda's good for laming. Yeah, that's true. But on level 1, I mean, on Twisted, you can creep everywhere. There's so much experience. I can see that. But will he have the time? Wagon and another fiend is coming. 50 supply pushed by 1 to 0 now. With Disease Cloud and Destroyer up. Breath of Fire secures the kill. Close to level 3 here. With two more kills he gets it. And the Orb of Corruption, Destroyer Magic Damage combo. So nice. Skeleton sees double workshop. And a tier 3 tech. So it might be tanks or Gyro's Knights. And he's not pushing. Is there a sign for a counter expansion? He's just attacking with this wagon. This will take forever though. The nuke just got a lot better. Close to 3 3. Oh, the end snare! That's 5 supply you don't want to lose. Gets a footman in return, attack. but that was costly. Militia deals with this. He spreads the disease cloud, though. That's nice. We do have the first flying machine. Ah, triple workshop. Alright. Triple workshop flying machines. Oh, this is gonna be so much AoE. Come up retraining for Blizzard. More AoE. 
Breath of Fire, the Song of Ice and Fire will be sung. He's trying to fight back with passive kills. A player's forces are under attack. No level two panda. Dark range at this time. Two wagons, and it's three thousand H. Oh, the Archmage now in a phenomenal position. Can't really be attacked. He's not stuck. He's at the shop. He can constantly regen. But there's silence. He can't spam silence as much as the Archmage can spam Blizzard. Towers start to fall though. Oh, Breath of Fire into the wagons. There's no repair acolyte here. He has to take care of this one first. Ah, sweet blizzard! Oh my god, but here's the counter nuke. No TP, no staff. Panda down. It's only a level 1 hero though. Paladin is out as well. Oh, outside the base. There's no entrance. There must be a staff. There's no staff. <laughs> One to zero doesn't really realize this blizzard is so Dark Ranger counters it. Wants to get rid of all the workers there. Spoil timing. I like how he moves the meat wagon. Oh, it's still one blizzard radius, I think. There's almost no repair anymore. If he can kill the castle, then there's no solution against these fiends. We have tanks now coming in. Where are the gyros, by the way? Ah, here. No upgrade for the ground. Breath of Fire kills the wagon. What a close game once more. The statue, such an MVP, completely dry, healed so much. But now he has to get back. Panda and Siege Engine. Is there something in the base? He's going for wagons for the base, more ghouls as well. Slow towers and piercing towers. And the Archmage is staffing onto the Panda for Blizzard as well. This is gonna be very hard to hold. Dark Ranger is there to defend. He's blocking the entrance. I like that play, but now there's access. Dark Ranger for silence, I guess, but now they sing their song together. A nice duet. Nerubian Tower down. And Blizzard. He can't repair against Blizzard. They're all dying. And the panda is still up. 1 to 0 supply stock. This is one little push that might win him the game. He still desperately wants to kill the castle, but that doesn't work. Not this way. Breath of Fire again into the meat wagons. Level 2 finally. And the Black Citadel is down and therefore no acolyte uh, replenishment anymore. And he's down to 2, 3 of them. He can just TP out. Uh, DK comes in, coil, but there is still the rune bracers and the holy light, GG. TH with one of the strongest early games I've seen in a while. Not losing anything to this harass, anything of value. And then it's really hard to get back. I mean, this was a 9 minute 30 level 2 for the DK. He tried his best. To get back was close to killing the. It was close to killing the castle, but not really. I think. Really well done. First game was insanely strong comeback by one to zero, but this time. Seems like the three acts were too strong. So we are tied 1-1. And in this league, if you win your best of 3-2-0, you get three points. If you win your best of 3-2-1, you get two points. If you lose 1-2, you get one point. And if you lose 0-2, uh, you get zero points, of course. So it's four two points now.
Uh, TH could equalize with Moon with five points if he wins. One two zero could equalize with Foggy. In his first series, Foggy has already played four series. It's not about the tank play itself. Like, sending tanks into an enemy space, it's not really hard. It's the way to the tanks that is hard. And that has to be appreciated. I, I want to see me or any of you against the 120 expansion arrest. Do you think you can get to tanks? I doubt that. I don't think you can get to tier 2. I don't think you survive longer than 5 minutes. And I don't like this balance wine. Oh, tanks to Imba. Don't let him get to tanks then. On Twisted, of course, very hard to do. You think you can? Todd? I don't know, man. We'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> if you make it to Shanghai, to WGL. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> ah, two new patch in two days. <coughs> Maybe they have a special backup version where you can play it against each other. <clears throat> And this, of course, goes for a lot of stuff. Not only tanks. Uh, mass gyros, um, mass bats, coil nova, every, like, metamorphosis, all that stuff. You have to work for it. Don't let him get it. Map number three is Turtle Rock. Very surprised to still see it not being banned. Um, there are two bans, actually, for each player. Maybe TH was gambling again for the close position. Is this even TH could be in here? But according to Walker3.info, it's TH. So let's trust it as it's TH. In the bottom left, we have the human. Only at three points at the moment after two series. Which is quite a disappointment, I feel, compared to. Uh, let's say Focus or Lawline, who are way better. But of course, he only had two games, it doesn't say much. 1 to 0, will he win his first series or will he start with a loss? He has one more game today, later against WFZ in an undead mirror. And WFZ has to play Moon next in the best of three that follows this one. So yeah, was he gambling for the close position? What did he veto then? Ancient Isles for sure. Last Refuge maybe? I don't know. So again, early DK, late Fiends. No Mountain King on this map, of course. So... We have seen one base play by Infi and TH. We have seen expansions by Infi and TH. I don't really have a suggestion what to do. The one base play on Amazonia worked to a degree until the undead heroes got too strong and there was no real counter to the destroyers. Because he oh, sniped the Dragonhawks under attack. too well and too fast. Infi played one base tier 3 Knights Gyros and it worked against 1 2 0. Will it work again? Or will he really try for this expansion? I think he does. Oh, he stops peasant production though.
it's not too many pests. He needs a few more. Creep spots are not that easy at all. I mean, the middle ones, yeah, kind of. This is more militia duration. Okay, now he produces again. While 1 to 0 is, of course, already on the way to tier 2, slightly below 3 minutes. DK is coming in for the Aras, got a little turtle, I guess. It's so annoying. Is there one more corpse? No, it seems like it. Now there is. Okay, and here comes. Oh, Militia again against the skeletons. I like that. Just sending two summons into the base delays the tech already. And now it's time for the creep steal, and there we go. Item goes to one to uh, two th with the gauntlets. A player's forces are under attack. Defense is coming. I like that. A lot of piercing here on this map. And of course, fiends will have piercing. Haven't seen defend before, right? Neither on Amazonia, where the footman count wasn't really high, nor on Twisted, where it was absolutely not necessary. And here they come. Militia duration is running lower. Oh! Oh! What? A genius move this is gonna be! He's pulling the Murlocs and the Turtle. There's a little poison. Oh, there's quite a bit of poison. This is so nice. This militia is late. This militia is hurt and takes the poison damage. How much pressure can he add to the Death Knight? A lot, actually. Level 2 for him. DK already running low, but gets the level 2 himself. Unholy Aura this time. Like five minutes earlier than the last game. But he's losing so much. He is losing so much. So many corpses. Backpack upgrade, of course, for the fiends to get a new run of necromancy in. Fiend is kind of surrounded there, though. Usually we see a two footman harass against the DK. This time it's one footman, one archmage. Works kind of well. One coil remaining for the big one. But too late. Level two and a half, but so many kills. If he gets the fiend, another kill. Oh, can he chase? He has boots, but against the unholy aura, I can't. Ske skeletons are still running wild at the expo, which is still not done. Now it is, and another kill. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is why Turtle Rock is historically bad for human against undead. This is so hard to creep. A player's force He's not getting level 3 because of the one steal. Lich, tier 2. Uh, tier 3, sorry. But this is level 3. Okay. At least he has that. <laughs> but he has to he had to send so many militia over. He had to use a lot of militia duration before. This tech is a player's forces are like, It's going to be an 8 and a half minute tech or so, if even. That was so much militia that he used. That goes into lumber. Oh, one more sub, WC3 Hype, thank you very much. Welcome to the sub squad, and Tilt1 with a 100-bit cheer, thank you. But TH, can you get the DK? That's a lot of footmen, but the Nova, oh sweet, hitting everything. Getting rid of the first one is quite hard, without the Orb of Corruption, against Defend. Doesn't... Oh, what a damage calculation, holy cow. He is wrecking this footman army, this usually never happens, but nice usage of spells. And he's never overshooting. He always has the right amount of damage. This could have been one way back for TH into the game. With this footman harassed into the base. 
laming a little, but not like this. It was six footies, I think, or seven. Now we're down to three. This is ridiculous, giving the DK insta level three. The statue is there. What can he do? I mean, mana is quite low now. He doesn't have a coil or a nova. That was a super, super, super strong focus fire. And he saves this one as well. Statue as a bodyguard. Oh, is there? There's a coil in a bit. Nova's the Archmage down. And there's a coil. Saves it. Wow. That was a perfect fight for 1 to 0. Tier 2 tech has started, but oh, is it late. Tier 3 is done. Double slaughterhouse. Old school destroyer push. There's two towers with one masonry. There's nothing really in the main. And this army is ridiculous. 32 supply. This looks very good for the undead. Rest in peace, uh, peace DH. Uh, never underestimate this guy. I won't call this GG until it's really over. Not with those two players. Expo is up and running. But the siege begins. Destro upgrade. Almost done. I keep this up. Oh, there's the nuke. GG. Okay, yeah, it was pretty over. But, you know, with these two, you never know. 1 to 0. Dominating Turtle Rock gets the revenge for Twisted, where he was kind of uh, squashed. Winning the series 2-1, and this was against one of the strongest opponents that he has in this entire league. But his dominance over human continues. Super League at GCS, Masters Coliseum, and also now in W League. At the moment, he seems unbeatable against this race. And therefore, two points for him. Same amount as Foggy, but with only one game. Foggy has four already. We will see 1-2-0 one more time later today in a Undead Mirror against WFZ, who is at the moment on the bottom of the entire league. But he wants to change that in the next best of three we have to our hands. That is WFZ versus Moon. Gonna be good. So stay tuned. And 1,000 viewers here already. We're getting close to 800 subs. Only needing four more. And then we have a nice new milestone broken here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned. This is the commercial break. We're going to be right back in five minutes with W League Super League.